All right, my crew, it's time to step away from talking about fitness for a second and talking about something that can stand in the way of your fitness, and that is having an absolutely debilitating headache. As someone that used to deal with migraines and used to deal with headaches, and as someone that's been receiving a lot of messages and comments about the topic lately, I figured I would address this issue. So first and foremost, if you haven't already, please turn on notifications for my videos, but also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get all of my videos and make sure that you're seeing everything. So I wanna talk about how headaches and migraines truly work and how it all comes back down to inflammation. But before I do that, I have to explain some alarming news, but also, exactly what is physiologically happening in your brain. So let's roll into it. I don't know if you know this, but over half of the people that suffer from headaches and migraines end up taking narcotics. And a vast majority of those narcotic users end up using barbiturates. Now I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but those are extremely, extremely toxic to the body. And there's no way to handle just a very, very simple migraine that quite honestly is, as far as neuroinflammation goes and physiology goes, quite simple to handle. Now. Here's what we also have to know. Those that don't end up taking narcotics end up taking acetaminophen, which is quite honestly one of the most hepatoxic things that you can take over the counter. And those that don't take acetaminophen usually take ibuprofen. And if you see my other videos, you know that that is a cyclooxygenase one inhibitor, which means that it can really do some damage to your intestinal tract and to your stomach lining. So we typically want to avoid that as well. But let's dive into what causes a headache. Now here's what we have to know. A headache and a migraine are not one in the same. You see, a headache can be caused by stress, it can be caused by overexertion, it can be caused by sleep, it can be caused by dehydration, so many different things. And that can be just a multitude of different instances and symptoms, but a migraine is something different. You see, a migraine is a neuroinflammatory issue, which means that you're having inflammation happening in your brain. You're having inflammation that is triggering nerves to respond a certain way. It's causing what is called a nociceptive response. Now, what we have to look at as well is what causes this inflammation in the first place. Well, a lot of studies have shown that migraines by and large are caused by a specific kind of inflammatory biomarker known as tumor necrosis factor alpha, also known as TNF-A or TNF-alpha. Now, TNF-alpha is really one of the master inflammatory compounds within the body. So what exactly is this inflammation doing and how is this tumor necrosis factor alpha really playing a part? Well, you see, when we have the inflammation from the TNF-alpha, it ends up triggering our nerves to cause a pain response. We have these things on our neurons called nociceptors. What a nociceptor is, is a small piece at the end of the axon of a neuron that distributes pain signals whenever there's a damaging stimulus. So example, if you were to get burned or something like that, the nociceptor would trigger pain. Well, inflammation from tumor necrosis factor alpha triggers this same response in your head. So it's inflammation that's causing the brain pain, so to speak. So how do we start combating this? Well, we need to have something that has nociceptive properties, pain relieving properties to get rid of the pain, but then we need to start addressing the problem furthermore. You see, things like acetaminophen, things like ibuprofen, they can dull the pain, they can help you there, but they're not gonna solve the actual issue at its root. So that's where a couple of different things come in. In this video, I wanna address turmeric and I wanna address omega-3s because they both have different compounds within them that will help the situation. See, turmeric's been used for thousands of years to help with pain, but when it comes down to migraines, it's a whole different story. You see, it's not just the anti-inflammatory benefits of turmeric that affect us there, it's the neuroprotective and also the nociceptive properties. So we have pain relieving properties that are associated with turmeric, and we also have the anti-inflammatory properties, and then we have the protective properties which can prevent migraines from coming on in the future. Now, omega-3s, on the other hand, do something different. Omega-3s have high levels of docosahexaenoic acid, which you've probably seen from my other videos, can get into the brain, cross through the blood-brain barrier, and feed the brain healthy fats. Well, those healthy fats can modulate inflammation inside the brain. So again, we have an anti-inflammatory and a neuroprotective component that's coming in with omega-3s. So when you combine them, you really have some amazing stuff going on. And that's where I wanna talk about a specific study that was done really recently in 2017. So this 2017 study that was published in Immunogenics took a look at episodic migraine sufferers. Okay, we had 74 of them. And what this research was truly looking at was what kind of result could these patients see if they use different combinations of turmeric, turmeric with omegas, or possibly even a placebo. And what they were truly measuring was the level of tumor necrosis factor alpha, since we know there's a direct correlation with TNF and migraines. But what they did is they split these participants into four groups. One group they gave only curcumin to, another group they gave only omega-3s to, another group they gave turmeric or curcumin plus omega-3s, and the last group they gave a placebo to. They measured their TNF-alpha levels at the beginning of the study and then again at the end. 
And what they found was really, really surprising. What they found is that the omega group and the curcumin-only group saw no change. The placebo group saw no change. But when you combined curcumin with omegas, there was a huge, huge change in TNF-alpha, showing that turmeric or curcumin plus omegas really is a magical cocktail when it comes specifically to migraines. So that's why it's important that you make sure you have a turmeric that is combined with a fat, usually like a liposomal delivery. Now, in this particular case, when you combine turmeric or curcumin with omega-3s, the omega-3s allow the curcumin to bind to the omega-3s and actually get into the brain, therefore reducing inflammation in the brain. So we're not just having total body inflammation reduction, we're having specific brain inflammation reduction. Now, how does this help you in other ways? Well, it is gonna reduce inflammation throughout the rest of the body as well which means if you're someone that's watching this video, you're someone that's trying to get the most out of your life, not only in the gym, in business, but also at home and just for your lifestyle in general. And nothing's gonna stand in your way faster than a headache. So go ahead and give these things a shot because even if you don't suffer from headaches, I think you're gonna find that combining either the foods or the supplements that you need to be able to get these kind of nutrients is gonna make a huge difference in how your brain operates. As always, make sure you comment and let me know if there's any videos that you wanna see and I'll be sure to get my team on it so we can make sure we're bringing the best content to you humanly possible. I'll see you soon.